Hello lovelies, in this video we're looking at perfect tenses for your Key Stage 2 grammar. Now, this can be used as help with your homework or it can be used um, if you're preparing for your SAT and needing a bit of extra help and some extra examples. If you want everything in order, so you want the worksheets, you want the video, you want the quizzes, then that is already on waiting for you over on the website. All you have to do is sign up and then you'll have access to all the videos, all the past papers, all the predictive papers and all the five future papers. everyone and welcome to our grammar series. Today we're tackling perfect tenses. By the end of this video you will know how the past, present and future perfect tenses show time and how to use perfect tenses accurately in your writing. Okay, let's go! Perfect tenses are all about actions that have been completed at different points in time, in the past, present or future. The word perfect means complete, and that's a good way to think about these tenses. There are three main perfect tenses. The present perfect, the past perfect, and the future perfect. Let's break them down one by one. Let's start with the present perfect tense. This tense is used for actions that started in the past, but are still important in the present or have an effect on the present. For example, I have finished my homework. In this sentence, have finished tells us that the action of finishing homework is complete, but it's still relevant now. Maybe the character would want to go and play outside now because their homework is done. The present perfect tense is formed by using have or has plus the past participle of the main verb. In this instance, the ed suffix on finished. Next up, we have the past perfect tense. This one is used for actions that were completed before another action in the past. For example, by the time the movie started, I had eaten all my popcorn. For example, by the time the movie started, I had eaten all my popcorn. Here, had eaten shows that I finished my popcorn before the movie even started. The past perfect tense is all about what happened first, in the past. To form the past perfect tense, you used had plus the past participle. Finally, let's jump into the future perfect tense. This tense is used for actions that will be completed before a certain point in the future. For example, by this time tomorrow, I will have completed my project. For example, by this time tomorrow, I will have completed my project. In this sentence, will have completed shows that the project will be finished before a specific time in the future. The action isn't done yet, but it will be by tomorrow. The future perfect tense is formed by using will have plus the past participle. Let's compare the tenses. The present perfect tense. I have baked a cake. It started in the past but is relevant now. The past perfect tense. I had baked a cake for the party. It was completed before another past action. And the future perfect tense. I will have baked a cake by tomorrow. It's something that will be completed before a future point. Notice how each tense focuses on the completion of an action at different times. Alright, let's put your knowledge to the test with a quick quiz. 
Can you identify which tense is used in the following sentences? 1. She has read three books this week. Is that the present perfect tense, the past perfect tense, or the future perfect tense? Well done! That's the present perfect tense. 2. He will have finished his homework by the time we leave. Is that the present perfect tense, the past perfect tense, or the future perfect tense? Well done! That's the future perfect tense. And finally, they had cleaned the house before their guests arrived. Is that the present perfect tense, the past perfect tense, or the future perfect tense? Well done! That's the past perfect tense. So, to summarise, Perfect tenses are all about actions that have been completed at different points in time, in the past, present or future. Before we wrap up, here are some quick tips to help you with perfect tenses. 1. Look for have, has, had or will have. This is your clue that it's a perfect tense. 2. Check the past participle. Make sure you know the correct past participles for irregular verbs. For example, swim becomes swum. And if you'd like to know more about different past participles and irregular verbs, check out our spelling series of videos to help you. And finally, consider when the action is completed. Is it before another action in the past? Is it still relevant in the present? Or will it happen before a future event?